The handing over of the donated items was held at the Garden Nursery School and Skills Center in Carnifing. The donated items worth over $300,000. I aim at promoting the acquisitions of skills for deaf and hard of hearing people and to improve the quality of teaching and learning. Handing over the items, I said today, the UNDP resident representative in the Gambia said deaf and hard of hearing people can equally be productive citizens if given the support and opportunity. Adding that the UNDP is committed to an all-inclusive society, hence the presentation. The UNDP initiated the Accelerator Lab four years ago in several countries. Uh, it's, an ex it's a lab to, re to really go back to the communities and see what are the solutions that they are having on a daily basis to face development challenges and how we can make sure that those solutions are known by the public. I think everybody who has not stepped foot in this center will not imagine how people are dedicated in making sure that no, no one is left behind and children, women and boys and girls have access to skills for them to, to even we living with, uh, while living with disabilities, have access to opportunities, are full, full citizens of the Gambia. And we are very proud to be partnering with the GADO and the Gambia Federal uh, Ad uh, Federation of People with Disabilities. Receiving the donated items, the executive director of GADO, Dudu Loom, and the Women and Children Development Officer of GADO, Aisato Sanyang, both thank the donor for the gesture, saying it is important for women with hearing disabilities to learn skills and empower themselves, while assuring that the materials will be put into good use. To prepare them to enter into primary school, a skill center was also open for the girls, 15 years above, to provide them with life skill and livelihood training to enable them to lead a healthier and safer lifestyle and improve standard of living. And what we appreciate is not only the, 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 the material support, but the fact that other donors might be encouraged to follow the, the initiative. Seni Kamara from the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Welfare and Mohamed Krubali, the chairperson of the Gambia Federation of Persons with Disabilities, both call on other UN agencies and philanthropies to emulate the gesture. There is this obligation to promote, to protect, and to fulfill the rights of persons with disabilities in the Gambia. And I urge every one of us here to support that endeavor. That the equipment or the materials donated by the UN Accelerator Lab to the female wing of Gambia Association of Deaf and Hard of Hearing will of course undoubtedly ensure their independence and their inclusion in the community. The Gambia Association of the Deaf and Hard of Hearing GADO is a non-governmental organization which advocates for the rights of the deaf and hard of hearing in the Gambia. The GADO Nursery Schools and Skills Center was established in 2001 to train young girls and women who are deaf and hard of hearing on various skills. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar Pijalo.